just driving back from Toronto and headed home and it is around 11.58 in the morning because yesterday we went to see Serena Williams play tennis. Please welcome Serena excited about this vlog because I was lucky enough to be sponsored by Home Chef. Home Chef is a meal delivery service and I'm trying it for the first time and Steven and I have tried a lot of meal services uh, but there are a couple things that were really exciting about this one so I'm gonna go ahead and roll to my unboxing of my first Home Chef box. All right, my friends, I just got home and I'm super excited. I am doing my first sponsored video because this one felt like a really great fit. And it's sponsored by Home Chef. And I just got my first Home Chef box. Let's go ahead and dive into this box. Once again, Home Chef, thank you so much for sending this to me. And I'm really excited to see what's in store. Let's dive in. Oh, <gasps> I love this. So one thing I'm already obsessed with that you don't get with a lot of meal subscriptions is they sent this binder and you can put your recipes in. That already impresses me because I've had drawers of the recipes I'd like to save. Um, so we have a Caprice chicken breast, one sheet pretzel crusted chicken, these look delicious, by the way. Hula pineapple teriyaki glazed pork tenderloin and a bone and pork chop with pine nut and Parmesan butter. I would say just the quality of these meals based off of the pictures, the names, what they're saying looks pretty great. Um, prep and cook time is around 15 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, 30 to 40, 15 minutes. So. All of them are also marked easy, except for the bone and pork chop. That one is marked intermediate. It also tells you to cook within the amount of days, which I really like as well. Also tells you the spice level. That kind of impresses me. I love it. And then step-by-step -step pictures. I already really, really like these. I think they give you a lot of information. I also, this is just my initial thoughts. I also really love this binder idea. So if I want to do this recipe again, I can resource it. That's cool to me. All right, let's go ahead and dive in to see how the produce is packed. So I believe maybe this is like one meal. I'll take, oh wait, I was just gonna say, I wish these were labeled. So this is everything for the bone-in pork chop. Also really appreciate that they're all packaged in one. And then in here is also all my meat products, all with ice packs, all still frozen. And all my protein is in this one bag. All right, I'm gonna get my protein because it's still frozen in the freezer. Um, but let me tell you, first impressions of the unboxing, I love that each meal is in its own separate bag already gathered instead of just loose ingredients in there. I love the binder set up for this and I love everything about it. Shipping was fast, once again, we will start cooking these meals and see how they go. One thing I love about meal services, particularly Home Chef, is that everything was so pre-packaged, so each meal was all in one container, um, which is awesome because as we were traveling this weekend, we didn't want a lot of extra groceries at home, so when we go home, I'm gonna be able to whip up one of our Home Chef meals. What I love about home service meal providers like Home Chef is to really utilize them during busy times. So if you're going away for a trip, it's great to use one the week before because you have no extra food that you're wasting because you have just enough for each meal. Another thing is when you're coming home from 
a short weekend jaunt. It's nice to not have to grocery shop and know that you have all the ingredients right at home. The other thing is I have a really busy week at work this week and it's nice to know that I have at least four meals already ready to go. It's just super convenient. Think really thoughtfully around when to use these middle services because they really can ease a lot of stress in life. Don't mind my hair, I have been on the couch just like catching up on work and emails and all of that. Um, and Steven is upstairs catching up on some sleep. So I'm getting ready to make us dinner. And once again, like I said, um, I've been lucky enough to have Home Chef sponsor. And what's even better, my friends, is that you can get $20 off your first box. So I actually made a mistake. The coupon code is not for $20. It's actually for $20 off each of your first four boxes. So a total of $80 off, which is one of the best offers from Home Chef. So definitely check out the link below. We are going to try our first Home Chef recipe. Once again, I am really loving that they give you this binder to keep all the recipes in. And tonight, this is supposedly going to be really fast. So it says 50 minutes. Um, it tells you how many days to cook it within. So four, which is um, tomorrow. So we're ahead of the game. Um, and then my other ones are like five, six, and seven. Not too spicy. And it says easy. And we're making caprese chicken breast. There's a sleepy boy who just woke up. Hi. Yes. Here's another sleepy boy who just woke up. Hey, after dealing with Toronto traffic, I was, I needed a nap. All right, so let me go ahead and get our bag. Let me pop this recipe out and let's see what we gotta do. The first step, and we're gonna put him to work as well. Open up the chicken and pat it dry while I get the pan ready. Um. All right, and then I will find the garlic salt seasoning. Okay. So, here are our tomatoes. They still look really, really good. While he gets the chicken ready, I'm going to cut up the tomatoes. So Steven was so helpful, and he patted the chicken breast dry. I'm going to season it with the garlic salt and pepper on both sides, like it said. So chicken is in the pan cooking. Now it's time to chop up the vegetables and get them ready. All right, so I'm about, oh, I'm about to flip the chicken breast. I just threw the tomatoes. And now we're adding the rest of the garlic salt. And a little bit of pepper. Just a couple pinches of pepper. Alexa off. Right, it's time to flip the chicken breast as well. So let's get this all combined. to add some of this pesto to the chicken with this mozzarella cheese. Cover and cook that for about five more minutes till the chicken is done. By then, these vegetables will be complete and we'll plate it up and see how dinner is. Here's dinner and it looks really, really beautiful and delicious and it was really quick and simple. I think I used more pans than I needed to, but it looks delicious, but we'll get the verdict from Steven. Mmm. Is it good? It's very good. The green beans are crunchy. I have flavor. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's good. Mm-hmm. So you heard it here first, my friends, from a tough critic. This first meal is really, really good. It was really, really fast. And yeah. And the portion size seemed really right. Mm -hmm. It's not too much and it's just enough. So I wanted to do something totally funny and I'm so excited about it, but I have been working really late. So I asked Steven to film himself cooking one of the Home Chef meals. So here we go. Hello, 
it is Steven here. I am filling in for your favorite YouTuber. Hopefully he's your favorite. Whoops. Uh, he has had a busy day and a busy week at work. So in order to prove uh, that this Home Chef Express uh, is easy to cook, he told me to cook one of the meals uh, because if any idiot could cook a home cook express or home chef express meal, that would be me. So today we're going to be making hula pineapple teriyaki glazed pork medallions and they look good. So here is what they look like in the package or in the, uh, on the sheet. So what we have here is we have the pork tenderloin that's been uh, defrosted and thawed, and we have our bag of goodies uh, that come with the meal. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook the pork, and it looks like they have kale or something. Um, I don't know, I need bifocals, but it looks like there's kale, broccolini, whatever that is. I guess broccoli. Um, but. We'll try it and we'll see how far we get. So here are the ingredients that we have. We have the pineapple chunks. This is broccolini. So it's broccoli and I don't know, something else. But it looks like it's a broccoli type vegetable. Um, what is this, soy sauce? Some sort of sauce. Um, red pepper, crushed red pepper. Salt, something and a shallot. Uh, so there aren't that many ingredients, which is good because when we did some of the other meal delivery kits, uh, they had a lot of ingredients uh, that you had to chop up and um, uh, prepare, but this looks like it's relatively easy and it looks like I only need a skillet um, and a cutting board uh, to make this meal. So it's not very complicated, which is good. One person who has already eaten is Bubba's. Say hi Bubba's. So you ate your dinner. He's over there. He's all finished. Um, he's been outside and uh, we'll go for a walk later. Go for a walk later? Go for a walk later? So I made a mistake. We were supposed to take the medallions out, which is fine. They're not burned, but the glaze is not meant to be cooked with the medallions. It's meant to be cooked separate and then placed over the medallions. So what I'm doing is I'm removing the pork medallions from the plate, from the pan. Sorry, I misread that. Um, and that was my mistake. Um, but it looks like the pineapples are almost finished. Um, so what we do have is we have the pork here on the plate. We have the pineapple and the uh, famous broccolini now. So not that I'm into plating or anything like that, but I did want to show you the final product of my uh, endeavors. So here we have the pork tenderloin medallions with the broccolini. Uh, you can see the glaze uh, here. I might have overcooked the glaze. Uh, but uh, it looks delicious. So when Chris gets home, he will have his. Uh, we will have dinner and um, I am happy. So Christopher has a late night at work uh, and frankly I'm hungry so I ate uh, the um, pork medallions and they were delicious. Um, I wrapped his up over there. Uh, so when he gets home, he can have it. Uh, but hey, it's 6.30 and I'm starving, so time to eat. He's also starving but not getting anything. See you later. I've had a really great week at work. It's just been non-stop work. I've been getting there around 5.30 in the morning and then leaving roughly around 6.30, 7 at night. So it's definitely been a long week. I feel like I've caught up on some sleep. My throat is a little scratchy. I don't know if I'm coming down with something, but I'm not feeling super great. Um, and I was just thinking about like, what would really like fill my cup right now and make me feel like, I don't know, just like something that's strictly for me that I would really love. 
and that was a trip to Home Goods, which I've not done in a very long time, um, to look at some fall decorations, and I might even start decorating for fall because I want to, and I love how cozy the house feels. This We are embarking on my favorite time of the year. Um, basically from September to January is just like my chunk of the year that I love so much. So that is what we're doing right now and I'm currently jamming out to um, some Taylor Swift music which I love the new song Lover that just came out. Didn't love it when I first heard it but now I'm kind of obsessed. So we are on our way to Home Goods. We're going to get some new fall decor. I've already done a little work today. Um, and we're just going to make the most of the rest of the Saturday. All right, my friends, let's see what we find at Home Goods. We did a Home Goods run, um, which I just like took my time, walked through the store, didn't rush myself, and I found some really great things. And oddly enough, um, my home goods had a lot of Ray Dunn on clearance, so I got a lot of pieces for like six to eight dollars. I was surprised because um, I've just now started buying a couple pieces of Ray Dunn things because I'm getting kind of hooked on it, and um, I didn't know it went on clearance, so I don't know if this was like they're getting ready for like some new seasonal pieces or just like I don't know. I don't know much about Ray Dunn. I would love for you in the comments to explain it to me. Also, is Home Goods and like TJ Maxx and Marshalls the only place where it is sold? Like, is there a Ray Dunn online store? Or, yeah, I don't know. I have lots of questions. I am still on the hunt for like all their cute Christmas, um, not Christmas, all the, I'm still on the hunt for all of their Halloween stuff. Actually, a subscriber sent me, um, uh, it's not the Ray Dunn, but it looks very similar, and it says Hocus Pocus, um, but I'm still in the hunt for the Hocus Pocus one uh, mug. I want the one with, like, the purple lining, like, interior. I really, really want it. I'm going to find the Halloween mugs eventually, and I will just keep looking and looking. Um, but, yeah, I bought a bunch of pieces because today I want to redo that buffet that's in our... Um, kitchen slash, uh, like, breakfast nook area. So I want to redo that and put some pieces um, of Ray Dunn in there. But other than that, that's really all I bought at Home Goods was Ray Dunn stuff. I did get a, two really cute pumpkin garlands. I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. And what else did I pick up? That might actually be it. But yeah, we're going to run home, maybe do some... Oh, I got some pumpkins. Um go home and decorate. It's been a long week, so decorating will help distress me. And decorating for fall always feels cozy, even though it's 81 degrees. I don't even care. It's 81 degrees. It's humid. It's a hot summer day, but I don't care. I'm going to start decorating for fall because it'll make me happy. And do the things that make you happy, my friends. Just do the things that make you happy. This is my Ray Dunn haul from Home Goods today. So this is not Ray Dunn. I picked up these three pumpkins to put up there because I really like the color of them. So I have like this Let's Eat tray, this surf platter, this spoon rest, this little jar that says small, I got a travel mug, drink, this cute candle. I really like this little souffle. This little canister, this is store. This butter dish and this juicer. And then I was excited. I was able to get the trick or treat bowl that has the purple line up, uh, not lining, interior. And then I also picked up these pumpkin garlands. So yeah, that's what I grabbed at Home Goods today. I'm going to start arranging it, and this is the cabinet I was talking to you about, and see how it turns out. So I went ahead and started doing this cabinet. Of course it's reflecting, so you can't really see it. Um, but I had these really cool white and black graphic printed pumpkins that really work. And then in here, I just arranged everything like that. I really, really like it. I'm happy with it. Here I just did the three 
pumpkins, they match the kitchen so well. And then just added that little garland. I had to cut it down a little bit, but it still works. Really happy with it. Also, this candle smells amazing. I went ahead and lit it right away. It's apple cider, it's delicious. All right, so got all that stuff put away. Um, I think I might do my mantle, I'm not sure. That's one tired pooch. Just did my mantle. It's really simple. Um, those pumpkins are from the dollar section at Target last year. The garland is from, uh, oh, the Hearth and Home collection at Target. And then I just went ahead and added all these. I had them from years ago from an old fall, uh, wreath and I just pulled them out and added them to the garland had a little bit more texture I'm really happy with how it looks okay so I was editing the vlog it is already quite long but I promise there are a couple videos coming in the next week we will do a full walkthrough of fall decor along with some ideas and some DIYs all embedded in a video and August favorites is coming up at the end of the week and I'm so excited because I have so many great things to share and I'm so excited to bring back monthly favorites but like I said, I hope that you guys give Home Chef a look because I'm really, really impressed with it. And Steve and I were just talking about um, moving forward with them because we are really pleased. The mills, we've now done all four and they were delicious. So everything is linked down below. Go check them out because it's pretty great. All right, my friends, I'm gonna end this video like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time.